Welcome to today's Operator Showcase on Scene. I'll tell you guys all the good things that you need to know of her kit, and then afterwards conclude with whether or not you should pull her and build her as well. If you need the timestamps of all the things I'm covering, I'm showing on my right over here. And if not, let's get to business by starting off with her background. Sin is a summoner supporter just like Megalan and Mayer as well. She's got a decent enough attack and exceptional resistance actually uh, at 28 resistance, a nice enough cheat deployment cost of 9 dp, even her summons are easy to deploy as well at 5 dp. So it's all kind of like okay stats, a bit of an average stats, but the part that makes Sin interesting is definitely within her talent and her skills. So let me do some showcases for you guys. Alright, the first thing that I want you to take notice about Scene is the fact that there's a difference in the base stat between her and the buggy camps that she deployed. So if we look at her attack, defense and resistance right now, she has 429 attack, 200 defense and 28 resistance. While compared to her buggy camps, they have about the same attack, it's 444, slightly increased and their defense is a little much higher as well at 350 while their resistance is completely at zero, meaning they'll take arts damage much more easily. So this uh it's about the same except for the resistance part basically now you can see that this buggy game is almost killed off by the casters they're probably gonna get destroyed so it's fine i'm just gonna destroy it now in this chapter there's quite a bit of invisible enemies that appear so what i could do is to place the buggy cam here so that we block them in order to reveal them but because of scenes talent there's a very unique uh thing that will happen even without blocking them so i'm gonna place her robots right here all right and you notice that they are revealed even though they are camouflaged so this has to do with the talent as i mentioned what it states is that for all the enemies around the eight house radius if they are camouflaged they will be revealed and that is quite an impressive trait to have because not a lot of operators in the game can actually reveal camouflaged enemies uh, the operators that can do so are people like uh, elysium silver ash tsukinogi which people don't really use but if not just within these operators, it's actually pretty damn impressive. I'm almost failing the stage. So that's that for her talent. Uh, it may not always be used in every event or stage, but if let's say you have a scene build, this is something that you can think about using. This stage that I'm showing right over here is H62. And in this stage, we can see a lot of scary enemies in a sense. We have the enraged soldiers, the ones that hit very hard melee damage, and also the enraged uh, throwers as well, the ones that keeps hitting at your defenders that you are trying to protect. So, if let's say we place any other operators to aggro the damage, for example, like if I place a backpipe here, instead of attacking Saria, they'll all change their target and they'll start attacking backpipe instead. And in that case, that's kind of a downer because how are you going to try to eliminate them in sense? Now, let's look at scene skill 1. Scene skill 1 says that it increases the attack of all buggy camps by 30%. This is at skill rank 7. And it grants them camouflage. So, Let's see what happens when I place her buggy camps instead. And just like that, plonk. Oh, look at that. They're not attacking the buggy camps. It seems like they can't seem to see the buggy camps at all. The blind, in, the, in fact. Now, the reason why that occurs is as the skill one states, the buggy camps gain camouflage. So, it's a poor thing that these throwers will continue to prioritize on the defender simply because they can't see the buggy cam. Of course, if I place the buggy cam here, then afterwards they'll start attacking the buggy cam that's blocking them. But if not, if let's say they, there isn't anyone blocking the buggy cams, then in that case, the buggy cams will actually be able to attack whoever that is in front of them. So that is the unique ability of skill 1. Let me show you another stage. Now this stage that I'm showing you guys is stage RA8. It's considered one of the hardest stages of the game because there's quite a bit of like puzzle-like elements. You have to figure out how you want to get rid of all the targeters of the stage. So I'm going to show you how scene skill 1 can actually be relevant over here. As you remember, it increases the attack and it gives all of them camouflage. So if let's say I were to place a buggy cam under one of the targeters, see how they don't really become under attack from them? there's simply no bombs that's falling from the sky because the targeters sadly cannot see the buggy cams. So I can safely put all the buggy cams on the right tiles and then afterwards when the set of parachuters fall down, they will be under attack by the buggy cams. 
the bombers simply cannot protect them to remove all of our allies. So that's an interesting way to use scene skill 1. Now, skill 1 is just a fun skill to use. It's not a skill that you have to build and feed masteries for, but if let's say you see a stage and you find that there is a use case for it, this is an example of when you can use it, but if not, more often you'll be relying on scene skill 2 instead. So let's move on to scene skill 2. Now I'm going to show you guys scene skill 2 via for 10. So I'm going to raise some of her buggy cams to actually handle Frost Nova on the top over there. Alright, uh, let's deploy all of our operators accordingly. So I do need to see Saria coming into play right about now. Hopefully it doesn't kill the buggy cam. If it does, I'm fine. Okay, so the buggy cam got killed. I'm going to place one there. And then I'm going to place another one on the left of Frost Nova. So let's read her skills for a bit. It states that she immediately gains one buggy cam, grants all deployed buggy cams increased detection range, attack increase, defense increase, and resistance increase. So let's place another buggy cam here, and let's turn on her skill. So notice how the buggy cam didn't immediately die to Frost Nova's ability, because for this buggy cam, it has increased resistance now, and that means that it can endure some of the arts damage that the enemies deal much better. So that's the good part and actually from just those few buggy cams that i placed you can see how frost nova's health has actually gone down quite a bit which is a very nice thing now she has destroyed all of the tiles that i can place the buggy cams but that's fine i'm gonna put another buggy cam right at the top here so let's hold her back and as we see uh we don't have actually have any more buggy cams we can deploy but with the use of scene skill I can regain another buggy cam and I can place it down again to try to deal damage to Frost Nova and she ripped it off. So the good thing about scene skill 2 compared to other summoners is that she's able to replenish the robots that she placed down. People like Deep Color, Megalan or Mayor, when you use their skill, it refunds back the robot. So for example like Mayor, when you explode the robots it comes back. But if you lost any robot along the way, you drop your health to zero, you can never get them back ever again to the full capacity unless you use other... Sorry, unless you retreat them. You retreat them and then afterwards you bring them back, then afterwards you'll give more, operate, uh, more of their robots back into their hands. So the good thing for scene is that that makes it much easier for you guys to handle since you can always refund her drones back into full capacity with her use of a skill 2. Let me show you her skill 2 in another place. So scene skill 2 is so powerful that it allows her to become solo damage dealers of certain stages. In this case right now, scene is being buffed by Skadi Alter, but uh, she's actually just dealing all the damage on her own. When you use a skill to damage the enemies over here as you see, notice how this butcher guy actually got ripped quite a bit. So with the use of a skill, the attack of the buggy cans went all the way up to 1052. This is skill rank 7 by the way, and their defense went up to 780, allowing them to endure even harder damage. Now normally her drones can't be healed by uh, other uh, medics for instance, but if let's say you have someone who have a global healing, like for instance a Scardi Outer, an Angelina or a Perfumer, they can actually heal the buggy camps that Scene has. As you see over here, the health is going all the way up to maximum already. So that's a good thing for you to note if let's say you want to become a Summoner Knights player, so where you can use people like Scardi Outer to provide the drone some little bit of healing. So we're gonna play up the stage just to show you guys that this stage can be soloed by Scene. And the one thing that I have to mention about scene over here is that I probably didn't state this just now, but there is a orange marker that you see here. After the skills end, all buggy camps are stunned for 5 seconds and that's very important for you to note. So that's the disadvantage that comes together uh, to kind of balance out the skills. Since it replenishes her drones, now they put a disadvantage onto her own drones where it states that uh, they are stunned after skill use. So notice how the drone is taking a lot of damage. I'm going to use the skill. And there you go, you're providing much more higher defense so that the Butcher will be handled. So once the skill ends, you can see they get stunned. So the enemies are kind of walking past them. So you must take note of that when you're using scene skill 2. 
Now the last thing that I want to speak of in this video is Scenes module. So I'm using a stage of 510 where there's Mephisto and Faust being involved. Let me place my Saria in and oh, I'm also going to use Beeswax skill to hold back the defender. Now, Faust has a very unique ability where he always fires this, you know, weaker arrows first. And then afterwards, at a certain regular interval, he's going to fire a purple shot that is a very high damage shot. If you know him from Desert Factory, one of the uh, contingency contract stages, you will be familiar with the idea of the fact that you had to put gravel in and then each time uh, gravel is placed she'll eat up the purple damage and then re you'll retreat her and rinse and repeat all over again now with scenes module involved there's a new interesting way that you can approach the situation notice how i've maxed out the deployment limit meaning i cannot place any more operators i can't place my gravel in anymore but if we look at scenes buggy camp for whatever reason i can actually still deploy it into the stage. It's quite an interesting thing. So why this is allowed is because of what her modules say. Her modules state that for every first summon that appears in the map, this summon will not take up deployment limit. So just as see the first one got destroyed, then this is technically the new first one again. And if let's say you still want to place subsequent summons, then they will still take up deployment cost normally. So it's a very interesting module that's granted to not just see herself, uh, Megalan and I think May yeah, Megalan and Mayer, both of them also got the same module as Scene. And this allows uh, the summoners to be a much more playable and bearable operator. Summoners have had the problem the longest for the longest of time that uh, they take up a lot of space within your squad. And now that this module allows at least one of it to not, you know, use up that space of yours, then you are able to then enjoy their gameplay much more. So if you want to have the module in play, you'll need her at Elite 250 and then clear off her missions as well. I like the module that's given to her. I think it's an appropriate one. And I will see Scene becoming a more usable operator from here on. So now the final bit of the video, let's summarize and conclude what you guys need to know. Now the final part is to tell you guys as to whether or not you should be pulling for her and whether or not to build her. Now the thing is, you don't need to pull for Scene. In fact, she's a viable operator from a particular store. You click on your contingency contract, the last tab over there, and then afterwards you click on Secret Sanctuary, the main store of the contingency contract. And from here, you scroll down, you can see the whole collage of permanent items you can buy, and right over there, that's a scene for you. She costs 300 contingency contract tokens or contract bounties, and 300 tokens is cheap cheap. This is like simple money, easy stuff for you to get just from playing the daily stages. So I don't really know what's stopping people from wanting to actually buy her from the store because it's very easy to access. This is 300 tokens, not 300 pools. So to answer to you as to whether or not to obtain her, my verdict is yes, you should obtain her immediately. Then the second question becomes, should you build her? To me, Sin is a very strong summoner of the game and she's not just strong, but she's also easy for people to learn. I imagine that the moment Link comes to Arc Knights, a lot of people are going to subscribe to Summoner Knights. They're all going to act like as if they know how to play Summoners. When in fact, Summoners are quite a craft and art of their own. You do need to take a good amount of time of getting used to them before you can actually be good at them. So, and if you want to become someone who's good at Summoners, I would say that Sin is the best early starting point. Since her skill 2 allows you to replenish her drones compared to the rest where they don't have the ability, this makes it a much simpler time for you to experience it as a whole. So to me, she is a very worthy build for people's account. And in fact, Integrated Strategies is going to come into Arknights very soon, and she's going to be a massively wonderful operator to use in that event. Uh, she's someone who can clear off all of the front field stages, and even later on, if you provide her with the bright buffs, she's also going to be very capable of an operator. So all in all, a great kit of an operator, someone that gives you all a lot of learning within the game, and I think now it's for you to tell me whether or not you've decided to build her. Alright, that's all that I need to share with Scene. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. I'll see you in the next Operator Showcase. Alright, bye to all of you.